Well, uh, hello again. Um, a while ago, I did a kind of uh, a kind of mood to one of these uh, charging uh, uh, things, charging boards from China. It's uh, HW six three two or six zero two in the last time. So what I have done, I was just uh, changing some uh, some things here about the relay. And uh, I did a kind of uh, protection for uh, for my uh, for my batteries. So this uh, this board now it's disconnecting the inverter. As you may see, I have the inverter down here, and now it's working. So it's disconnecting the inverter as soon as the the batteries are going below uh, below 12.1 uh, volts i know you know very well that uh, uh, lead acid battery it's better to keep them uh, in a certain voltage let's say like 12.06 uh, i prefer to to keep them around 12.1 volts so this little one can do a switch when the the voltage it's dropping under 12.1 it's disconnecting the inverter and it's just connecting the the consumer you see this is my main consumer here it's connecting the consumer to the main to the grid somehow yeah of course <clears throat> okay so it's a very simple way to do that. Uh, I'll show you a little bit later with all the schematics and all the connections and everything. So uh, let me show you how I did it. Well, there is something more I want to say about uh, this board. Um, the voltage on the screen is not so accurate. Uh, so it's always like uh, uh, oh point. Uh, Three sometimes lower than the real uh, the, than the real voltage. So, uh, in fact, uh, I have to fix it like uh, uh, eleven point eight to to have a switch when to when the batteries are reaching twelve point one. So uh, it's better to have a to have a voltmeter for uh, having all this. Uh, adjustments okay so uh, that's the little board I told you about uh, HW632 and there is a new model now uh, 603 I think what I have done I took off the old relay the original relay from here and I was connecting this one so you have to look for a, for a 8 pin relay why we need 8 pin relay because the middle it have to make the the switch between inverter and uh, and mains well this is just a test but i think you catch the idea you'll have the schematic uh, at uh, the end of the video uh, it's very possible then uh, with later improvements you know to add some more relays you know uh, for disconnecting your uh, inverter because as long as it's, uh, it's not connected you know to deliver 220 or 230 volts or uh, 1 on 10 depends where you are in the world uh, it's no use for the inverter to be connected to the battery you know it's sucking like 15 watts for nothing well here is a little trick about how to, to make these things happen you see, uh, now I'm providing, let's say, 13.3 uh, 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 volts or 4 volts, something. And, uh, and the board is thinking like it's under voltage and it's connecting the relay. Uh, to make it happen from the upper voltage limit, push long, start blinking. and we set it down down I said down almost to the same limit let's say 12 volts
perfect and the lower limit like I said it's 11.7 because it's always a discrepancy about the voltage on the board and the one supplied so now we have 11.7 okay so this is the trick you know the the upper limit the upper voltage limit should be as close as possible to the lower voltage minute, uh, limit so now again let's say if I'm going down to 12.1 and go and you see the board is acting it's connecting the relay and uh, the relay is doing all the commutations for now the lower limit is set to 11 0.7 why 11.7 we should have like 12.1 but I found out that the voltmeter here is not so accurate so it's always uh, a difference like uh, 0.4 or 0.3 or 0.4 or something uh, between the real voltage and the one on the board I don't know why but I checked many boards like that and that there is always uh, um, uh, you know, discrepancy like that well so let's say now we, we are in the limits because we are delivering 12.6 volts from, uh, from my charger so the relay it's in uh, it's in normally on position and the middle is connected here at these pins and these pins should be connected to the inverter you see mm, we have two by two so it's very easy to to figure how to do these things the middle always goes to the consumer so the middle in fact it's it's the the tongue I may say so the middle is supplying the consumer and it and it's gone uh, in between inverter or mains depends what the board it's uh, supplying okay so now let's try to to have a, to have an other voltage under voltage okay stop oh, let's switch off let me have let me have like uh, 12.1 volts go you see so it turns off already and the relay is commuted to the other side I'm not sure if, if you can see it here, it's, it's very difficult. I don't have a macro lens to, to do all this. But anyway, I can, uh, I can tell you it's, it's the other side. It's, you can see clearly. If I, if, I, if, I take the, if I take the power off, it goes the other way. You see? look once again and that's it it's commuting so that's the idea of the things it's not so hard and we have the schematic you can you can uh, you can make it very very easy but what should I say for for uh, uh, for better power or for more power in fact through the relay uh, you need a really strong one this one uh, I'm using here now it's 8 amps uh, on 230 volts 230 volts that means like uh, okay let's say around 2000 watts mm, 1500 better but there are a lot of uh, relays and I'll show you later uh, that can do a better uh, current so um, I think uh, that's it for now let me check uh, 
let me check how many volts we got here oh so I'm supplying with 12.1005 it's going up and down but here I have 11.7 so the difference it's like uh, 0.4 volts you'll figure out after uh, you are doing all these things and once again let's see if, if I put up the voltage let's say 12.9 volts doesn't really matter so the board is turning on and nothing happens you see the LED the red one it's connected uh, in parallel with the relay so we have a visual uh, control if if the relay is working or not so in this situation let's say the inverter is connected to the consumer if we go under under the voltage let's say 12.1 You see? And now the consumer is connected to the mains. Okay, uh, so let's talk a little bit about the schematic. Uh, as you may see, we have the board on the left uh, with uh, all the connection. Uh, all, all you have to do is to connect it to 12 volts there. And uh, the new relay is going by a piece of wire and the relay it should have eight pins two pins are for coil of course uh, and the others are for switching the in and outs and you have the schematic somehow a kind of schematic how it should work uh, when it's normally on so let's say the battery is in the right voltage uh, then the middle is connected to the left pin if we if we consider the coil on the left so uh, that's the inverter and when it's on i mean it's activated then we have the connection to the left and that's uh, that's the mains be very aware about using uh, 220 volts or 110 or something anyway high voltage please use fuses and uh, be really really careful because it's not a joke working with this uh, as you may see, this, these are a couple of relays I'm using. I prefer this Omron, it's 12 volts with uh, 16 amps. It's a very good one for this kind of application. Well, I think that's it for now. Uh, if you have any question, uh, please don't hesitate to comment. And uh, I'm really, really happy to help with any advice, uh, any further advice. Look at the end of the video, you'll have the schematic and also uh, some ideas about what kind of relays you should buy or uh, provide or something to have this uh, thing working. So that's the Omron I was talking about. A 12 volt with 8 pins relay will do the job. Thank you for now.